Let's look at the spleen meridian. It is a really important meridian as part of functional kinesiology because it is a cornerstone to the triangle of hormonal health that we explore in greater detail in the practitioner training. So we're going to look at the, the two parts that belong to the spleen meridian, which is the spleen and the pancreas, two very important organs in the body. So the spleen is part of our immune system. So it has, it, it has white blood cells that detect infections and it deals with infections in the body. It's also a cleaner. So it will go through and it will recognize old damaged red blood cells and remove and clean out the blood. So ensuring that the blood that is circulating through the body is nice and clean. So um, a really important part of our immune system. The pancreas is an organ that is actually 95% digestive, but many of us recognize it as blood sugars um, and insulin production. So it also has a hormone function. So 95% uh, digestive and a 5% endocrine function. And so it produces insulin, which manages our sugar. So when we ingest sugar, then our body, our pancreas produces insulin to be able to metabolize that sugar. Um, but it also produces enzymes to help us break down our sugars, fats and starches. So in kinesiology, which are the muscles that are linked to the spleen meridian, we have five. The latissimus dorsi, which is uh, the pancreas organ, but also on the spleen meridian. And it's the big muscles down the, the spine, down the either side of the back. We've got the middle trapezius and the lower trapezius, which is slightly higher than the um, latissimus dorsi, which is also in the back. The opponus pollicis, or opponus pollicis longus as it's um, sometimes referred to, is this muscle, it's in the hand. And we've got the triceps, which is back of the arm. And so when we see imbalances in blood sugars or digestion that's coming from the pancreas or maybe from the spleen, if the, if the spleen isn't able to clean the blood down effectively or if there is a number of infections, when the spleen meridian is overwhelmed and we see imbalances in these muscles. So we get backache because of these big latissimus dorsi and middle trapezius and lower trapezius muscles in the back. We get hand pain, wrist pain, and also arm pain. And this can also tie into the neck. So common imbalances in the spleen meridian, sugar cravings for sure, imbalanced blood sugars. So that's the hangry feeling that some people get, which is if you don't eat for a period of time, then you get um, anxious or frustrated or angry. Uh, like I said, you get the neck and the mid back pain is a very common spleen meridian imbalance. Um, carpal tunnel, which is uh, that, that hand, a hand condition that can often be linked to imbalanced blood sugars, food intolerances and poor immune function. So as a functional kinesiologist, how do we balance the spleen meridian? And we use the bees. So we look at the biochemical, the emotional, the electrical and the structural. So starting with the biochemical, our focus in functional kinesiology is absolutely to balance the blood sugars with um, diet and also with supplements. So if you are training in, in the foundation level, then you're gonna be looking at diet. If you're training as a practitioner, then you're gonna be looking more at supplements. And we look at the macronutrients. So we're looking at this balance between protein, fats, and carbohydrates. So the, uh, the majority of people eat a diet that is high in carbohydrates. And, and this is where a spleen meridian imbalance can come from. So the supplements that you would be looking at if you're at practitioner level, uh, digestive enzymes because of this digestive function of the pancreas, um, adaptogens, we use adaptogens a lot in our, our testing, um, licorice, which is an, an amazing uh, spleen meridian adaptogen because it is high in chromium and this is the, the mineral that the pancreas and the spleen <clears throat> use. Also ginseng is wonderful at blood sugar balancing. And then the minerals, we're looking at chromium, magnesium and zinc. Emotional balancing for the spleen pancreas meridian, it, it sits in the earth element and the, um, the primary emotions within the earth element are sympathy and worry. So people who are often 
worrying too much about others and not thinking about themselves. So um, the self-sacrifice, the people pleasing, the putting others first can be often linked in with the earth element. And so the emotional work that we tend to focus on is this building of self-esteem and self-worth and creating healthy boundaries. Uh, other emotional issues that can be linked to the spleen is being critical of others, overthinking and confusion because of this worrying aspect. And there can also be issues with a mothering aspect because of the earth element is very mother earth. So issues with nurturing, feeding, nourishment, either to yourself or themselves or to others. The electrical balancing, the spleen's meridian optimum time is in the morning. And we see this often nine to 11 in the morning is when people get their 11 Zs. So they get their sugar cravings. Um, and, and, and so people often wake up in the morning with these great intentions of eating well. But by 11 o'clock, they're eating out of the biscuit tin. And so this is a sign that the spleen meridian is out of balance. So you can see, um, attached to this lesson, you can see the spleen meridian video and also the, the image, the, the acupuncture meridian that we work with starts on the big toe, comes up to the chest and then comes down to the side of the rib cage. Structural balancing, we would be working primarily with the upper part of the body through the arms, we'd be working with the shoulders, we'd be working with the wrists and the hands. And if we want to support the spleen meridian structurally, then we encourage that because there's this role in digestion, that people chew their food carefully and sit up straight when they're eating and they do it without stress because this connection, this really important connection with cortisol and blood sugars, which we go into, into more detail in, um, in other lessons. We also recommend stretching the muscles of the back, shoulders and chest, because often when there is an imbalance in the spleen meridian, these muscles can get very, very tight. So how does this fit in? We've talked about the triangle of hormonal health. It's a pillar. The spleen meridian is a core pillar to the triangle of hormonal health. So we've got the, the, the blood sugars as the spleen pancreas meridian. We've got the triple warmer, which is your stress and your cortisol. And then we've got the circulation sex, which is our sex hormones. And so these three play um, a role in, in balancing each other. And so if blood sugars we start with blood sugars when it comes to the triangle of hormonal health. We have to get that pillar in line if the triple warmer and the circulation sex with our stress hormones and our sex hormones are going to be in balance. So that is the spleen meridian.